Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's live stream. I am JD and I am joined tonight by a very special new guest to Railfan TV. Uh, I've brought on Alex, our new community manager. Hello Alex. There we go. Uh, I will be joining JD on this adventure. Yes, absolutely. Let's do this. Uh, so, Alex, uh, well, as you know, before before we get into the pleasantries and to to introduce you uh, to everybody else in the chat, hello everybody, good evening, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to everybody have everybody with us for uh, tonight's stream. I'm going to be driving for the first time ever, which is uh, a fun experience for everybody involved. Uh, I deliberately chose a route, chose a route as well where there is a bell involved, so everybody's going to be well happy with that. Um, we're going to be doing Boston Sprinter tonight, so um, I have to admit I've not actually done Boston Sprinter before, so this is a bit of a new one for me. Going to go through a couple of the scenarios um, just to kind of whet my own appetite for the route, uh, but also sort of if you've not had a chance to take a look through it, you can also uh, you can also see what what it has to offer as well. Um, it's also on uh, it's also on uh, the Steam Summer Sale right now as well, 45% off if you are interested. Um, so I'm going to jump into game. Um, I'm going to try and what I'm going to try and do tonight is I'm going to try and make sure we keep the face cams on because I think it's quite important for everybody to, to meet Alex and to kind of see him and uh, get get an idea of what he is and who he's all about. But I'm also going to try and make it as unobtrusive as possi possible for everybody else to see what's going on because you, you want to watch me driving in all of my glory uh, tonight. Uh, so, yeah, every, it's all going to be fun. Everybody can laugh at me and we will all have a great time uh okay so i am going to just press uh go into boston sprinter now uh for those of you who have not played it before um I'm, in fact you know what i'm so new to it that it's going to take me through all of the training scenarios which we're not going to do uh, i'm just going to go into a couple of the uh go into a couple of the uh, scenarios so alex just while i'm getting this all set up would you uh would you like to just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, oh no not exit the game oh dear <laughs> <laughs> Well, that went well, didn't it? I'll be back. We'll be back and say, whilst we're on the black screen, Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself. Right. Hello, everyone. Um, so yes, I uh, joined Dovetail recently. Before working at Dovetail, I was a community manager at a place called Grads and Games. They help students get into the games industry, um, and it's actually where I found Dovetail because they were partners. So um, before that, I've had a, my own YouTube channel for a little bit, and I've done uh, graduated last year uh from Birmingham City Uni I did video game digital arts so uh yeah I, I like to be creative and I'm really happy to be on the team community management is something that I think is, has been a passion of mine for a while and it's something that I've only really just realized that I want to pursue um so I'm excited to really see what I can do with the dovetail team and see how we can make everyone's experience and, and community engagement much better so um, I'm looking forward to it and I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to have my own struggles uh, of driving the train and learning so <laughs> i hope everyone's uh, ready to, to to teach me as well well i'm gonna say we've got to, we've got two amateurs on tonight uh alex and i've been here for a year and a half so uh i'm just gonna make you a little bit louder tell please tell us if the audio isn't quite as it needs to be um but i'm just gonna try and do this again now uh and i will actually skip the scenarios rather than closing the game this time so uh bear with me one second I might be able to turn my microphone on my end as well. But then I don't want to be boomingly loud. So that's that's another issue. I don't think you have to worry about being boomingly loud. Uh, I think just be as loud as you can be. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, one of the scenarios. I'm going to try. I'm not going to try cold as ice because that looks like an absolute nightmare. What I'll probably do is I'll probably do long way round, and then we'll do marching in tonight, and uh, and then we'll 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 sort of call it a night from there. So. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot I'm getting a lot of stick in the chat Alex and this this is this is what being a community manager is all about this is all this is all of the uh, putting yourself in in harm's way so that everybody can take pot shots at you and it's great we love it uh, it's good to see uh, good to see everybody uh, having a bit of fun like I most certainly will do tonight and as I say I picked a loco specifically because it had a bell so uh, there we go there's one for the fans everyone <laughs> Um, I might I might leave it on at some point just just so just for everybody's benefit. Uh, yeah, so Alex. Yeah, I think... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you, go, you, you go. You go. What you were going to say? 
I think the Discord's been making fun of, of you, JD, for uh, for having your first driving uh, first driving lesson on stream. So I think they're well, just as excited to see me. <laughs> so absolutely. I think I think the thing is, I've uh, I've obviously done a few um, I've done a few uh, four up streams, and I've I've always I've done some. I, I make it. I, I have I have played our game. Uh, don't worry. But at the same time, it's one of those things where it's always quite. Doing this and actually talking to people and streaming at the same time is a lot more challenging than I think uh, than I think I remember it being. So uh, bear with me one second because I'm gonna I am gonna keep saying bear with me because um, I need to try and think of things. Normally I don't have to worry about actually doing things at the same time as talking. So Alex, you might have to take a little bit of the slack for me tonight. <laughs> um, so. Um so yeah, I think I think everyone uh, I think someone mentioned what 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 track was I think of doing uh, first what routes. So I, I think the the community vote we put on my intro post on the forms. Um, oh JD, you, your game volume a bit different. Now. Yeah, I'm just turning that down. <laughs> East Coastway's fine. East Coastway's absolutely fine. I think that was the first one actually the community voted for me to do as well, first of all. First of all. There we go. Oh, I might be a bit quiet. Um I think uh I think they've I've gone down as well now. There we go. Can we can, is that can we just make sure before we go in everybody's happy now? All good. Uh, hello, can everyone hear me? Can everyone sound hear okay? Everything. Yeah, the game sound should have gone. <laughs> can you hear me and can you hear Alex? We can hear you both now. Okay, fine. That is great. Uh, so essentially what we're looking at here is we've got that one, that level, that one, that level, and then the desktop audio down right at the bottom. So I think also it doesn't help that the hissing is quite loud anyway. Uh, so if you can't hear us, then that's fine. I, I don't know what it was, but something about the uh, something about setting up the stream today. Uh, it must be because it's the first time I'm jumping on stream, but it was it was a nightmare for GD to try. And it really, up. really was. And as I say, <laughs> I don't want to make any excuses because I've done this a few times now. But at the same time, we, that's the reason why we're about two minutes before we started, because it just wasn't streaming to YouTube and I haven't got my water or anything. So I say it is almost it is almost like I'm new to uh, to driving and streaming at the same time because I am so. Okay. All right, let's do this. And say so if there's anybody who was, uh, I'm sure that I've never played this before. The fact that I'm getting achievements for these kinds of things then implies that. I probably am not. I probably am new to this. But Jason, I wish my cats would make an appearance. The door is ready for them to push it open, but I don't know if they're they're in a sleepy mood. I think usually about this time of night they're out, running around. Um, we might we might see a, a surprise appearance later. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm just going to turn the uh, the desktop volume down as low as I can make it. There we go. That's about as low as I can make it, guys. So hopefully. That is fine. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. Yeah, cats, ca cats, are, cats are mandatory. And Alex has three of them running around uh, at different points. So one of them might make an appearance tonight. I did request it. <laughs> oh, I'll have to go and find one. The, 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 I think when we were in our meetings today, um, Whenever I'm sat in a team school, they just there's usually at least one of them on the bed behind me. There's usually a couple of them walking around in the room that the, the camera doesn't pick up as well. Um, I think they're happy that I'm 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 home for the week. So <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have we'll have many opportunities, I'm sure, to see the cats in future weeks and months, and everybody will get to know them. Like uh, my cat who makes appearance, well, one of my cats makes a, a, an odd appearance on the stream as well sometimes. Is that Phoebe? That is Phoebe. Yes, she does like being uh, 
yeah she does like being very very uh, nosy <laughs> and here's my voice uh, she's not with me tonight though unfortunately I wish she were unfortunately crazy killer I, I, uh, I don't think I'll be saying what was in those meetings uh, some of them were just some of them were just uh, simple stuff like how will I how will I uh, engage more with the community but not, not all of them yeah, just, I mean, just Alex, I know we've, we've had a little bit of a laugh and a joke so far, but obviously very important to, for everybody to, uh, to to understand sort of what community managers do at Dovetail and um, what what kind of the day in the life of a community manager is all about, because it is all about speaking to you guys and representing the players, um, speaking to you sort of as a member of the Dovetail team, but also then taking your feedback and putting bringing it back into the Dovetail team so that you guys know what it is that we want to uh uh, or you, we know what it is that you want us to do or there's any feedback from things that are well, that we, we want to be doing differently so um, have you have you kind of in your first few days noticed anything uh, in particular about like what you'd like to do or any challenges that you want to try and uh, try and take on straight away um, I mean yeah I think I think in, even in when I was first applying to the job, I, I came in with some crazy ideas that I'm going to see if we can we can bring to reality. I think one of the things that you mentioned about trying to engage with the community and see what what the actual opinion is, is uh, in in the first few weeks I've noticed that on the forms there's there's a lot of talk about how we can incorporate the suggestions a lot more, um, and it's something that I'm currently working on. It's something that I've I've spoken to Matt Peddleston a bit uh, already earlier today, um, and there's nothing I can really say. Quite yet, um, but it, it's it's nice to it's nice to, to know that like as a community manager, I'm trying to listen to what the community actually wants and what, um, especially the more loyal and vocal players are, tr are trying to, to they want out of the game. Really. So it's it's about making sure that everyone feels heard um, and that I'm kind of being the liaison between the people and the the, the teams. So that's one of the first things I, I'm I'm going to try and take a, a bit of a stab at and try and see if I can find a new way to make suggestions and exciting and and, uh, and and more player engaging event really um again again the promises with with anything it's, it's still a work in progress but um but yeah i think that being a community manager is 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 a really fun role because essentially you're taking all the passion from the player base and trying to find a way to explain to the teams like hey we're gonna let's do it this way instead or um i think the community would actually rather see this uh and and just being the voice of the player really inside the team Oh, well that's not a good start, is it? Uh, Crazy Killer says, can you break down what you will do differently? So does each community manager concentrate on one aspect um, more than another? Well, so far I think, I think I mean, JD will probably be able to answer this in greater detail, but so far I've noticed in the first few weeks that, um, in our team at least, the community managers kind of each have their areas to work on. So uh, with James and, um, and Ben, they kind of, taking the lead on, on, on the overall community, um, but myself, I'm focusing more on, on just Train Sim World. Um, and at the moment, I'm kind of just looking into things in my first few weeks that I'm noticing that I think this could be a bit better or I have an idea for this. And I think that's also one thing I would say is really awesome about Dovetail is that if you just have an idea or if you have suggestions, especially as me joining the team, I'm very new to the team. Um, but a lot of the things that I've suggested and the ideas I'm starting to share and ways that we can try and do stuff differently, they're, they're listening to. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're at the, essentially at the bottom of the hierarchy or not, it's not really a structure like that, it's more just a place to share ideas, because at the end of the day we all just want what's best for the game. Um, so yeah. Yeah, don't absolutely. Know if you have anything, JD. No, I mean, in terms of uh, community managers, they, we cover a lot of different disciplines. Uh, so um, anything from, obviously, engaging with the community on a daily basis, um, like inverted commas influencers, uh, customer support, um, you might see myself or Alex pop up replying to a customer support ticket every now and again when, when uh, Chris isn't around, um, social media, all of those things that kind of help us to, to reach out to people and communicate with people is kind of our, our, our remit really. So um, everybody has their own kind of areas. Obviously Alex is very new to the team, so uh, but we'll absolutely find his niche and what he enjoys and, and we can sort of channel that in the best possible way. I, uh, I hope I hope my uh, most people are hearing me. I think someone's mentioned that I'm a little quiet. Does, does anyone else still manage to understand me decently? It might be a little quiet, but um, as long as you can kind of hear what I'm saying, I guess it's a useful. <laughs> um, I can hear you fine. 
I apologize if it, if it sounded odd. It, it is my first stream, so it, there is there is a part of the stream that I have to have a good mic as well and be able to speak loudly enough. Now it's to recover from the emergency break time, guys. This is what happens when I'm actually talking. That's why. There we go. <laughs> let's put. Let's take the reverser out. Oh. I think. I think James. I think the chat's saying the brakes are a little too loud. So how about we we just don't use the brakes. We just keep it a just steady keep, pace. Just keep. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Just take. Just don't have anything that's. Uh... There we go. Let's take that out. Let's try and start again, shall we? It looks like the uh, the British Aces in the chat. So, uh, hello, hello everyone that's just joined, and uh, it's really awesome to start meeting the community and start seeing some familiar faces around. So, uh, hello. There we go. All right, let's start again, shall we? Let's get back to where we need to be. Turn everything off. Turn everything back on again. Put the reverser in. I'm learning. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm watching and I'm learning. <laughs> we'll see how much stays in. Does anybody in chat have any questions about um, about dovetail? Obviously, I, I'm not going to just start sharing anything confidential, but <laughs> anything that, that I could share. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. Still, feel, feel free to cherry pick some answers from the chat. Yeah, I think the problem is at the moment is my multitasking that's the challenge here. I'm trying to I'm trying to concentrate on the driving, and I'm, at the same time, I'm, I'm very, I don't want to uh, enforce the, the the lazy stereotype, but I'm definitely one of those people of uh, the, <laughs> definitely one of those men that does not multitask well. So <laughs> let me just again. Let's restart everything. Let's take everything back to where it needs to. Oh no! Don't put it back into emergency. That's what we got into the problem in the first place, JD. <laughs> Absolute chaos is unfolding. <laughs> uh, I think um, uh, Godzilla boy said, "Can American steam cranes be added to suggestions?" Well, I mean, the only way to do that is uh, to put it in. Um, I am, I, I, like I, I mentioned a bit before, I'm, I'm still kind of working uh, through a document and, and working with some internal teams about how we can possibly make the suggestion thread a bit more engaging. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll hear some, any updates on that soon. Again, no promises on anything, but it's, uh, it's something that I'm working on. Ratty Plus, Alex, where are you from? I am... Where am I from? Uh, I'm from Bristol. Uh, that's where I was born. I'm, I currently live in Chester. It's it's near Manchester, if that helps. I think whenever whenever I tell people Chester, a, a lot of people kind of stare at me blankly. I'd say the Chester was closer to Liverpool. India is close to Liverpool. I just usually go for the next biggest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Even bigger than Liverpool. Uh, my ge my geography is actually terrible, though, so it's something you might learn. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need to work on. Have you had much time to play the game? Any favourite moves? Um, so sadly, I haven't had too much time to play the game. It's, I've played it a few times now, uh, and to be honest, on all of those times, I've just been on the Bakerloo line. Um, it might sound kind of boring, maybe, I, I'm not sure, but to me it's it's interesting because I actually visit London at least a, once a week. So it's like, it's kind of interesting seeing that like, oh well, I was actually here the other day. Um, so I've been, I've been learning that and I've been, I've been getting more familiar with starting the train and knowing what I'm doing. Um, I've also played around a lot. I've spent more time in the livery designer than I have actually driving the trains um, because uh, I definitely like being creative and I, I was I was hoping on making something quite cool to share to you guys. Uh, let's, re let's restart it, shall we? Let's restart it. <laughs> I think I think at this stage, I'm at this at the, moment, the point where I'm just like, okay, this is this what happened when we did the four up challenge with Sampatch in that I got to the point where I was just like, my brain is not working anymore. I can't remember what I need to turn off and what I need to turn back on. Let's do it again. Let's let's do it again and let's do it better. <laughs> Round two. Round two. Yes. As I say, we all have to learn these things. Uh, and as I say, whilst I am obviously doing a fantastic job uh, of teaching everybody how not to do this, uh, then it's uh, it's it's, it's a, as Alex. Let, let's just face it. You're not going to have a worse introduction than this are you when you do it yourself uh, by yourself 
Oh, oh well, I mean, when I'm, if I was streaming and driving at the same time, it would be just as bad. Uh, multitask multitasking and speaking is, is something I struggle with. Yeah, I have a so. lot. I have a lot more respect for for Matt now because uh, I always used to. We always used to take the mick out of him when he used to spad and do things that were silly when everybody else was. Uh, when everybody else, when I was talking to him, and now I have a, a newfound respect for him. Oh, you know what? I forgot the cutout valve. That's why. Jason, livery designer to um, soon TM, I believe, is the the, the typical response. That's what I'll give. The audio just seems to have decided to go back to the settings that it was beforehand. So I'm going to turn all the audio down in game, and hopefully, again, that will make things a little bit more bearable with the hissing sounds and stuff like that for everybody else. And then we will go. We will apply those, and then we will go back. One of the one of the things I was hoping to to start is if I do streams of my own, I was hoping to do some modeling streams. Um, yes, three D modeling, not not IRL modeling. Um, <laughs> Strike <laughs> uh, eyes. <laughs> but uh, it's it's because we're, because I've obviously graduated from game art degree. I, I it's modeling is something that I'm passionate about. And it's one of the things that I like doing. Um, so I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing me possibly model a train from scratch or a, a locomotive and, and do the full interior, take it from nothing all the way through texturing. It would definitely be a long thing. It's not something you do in one stream, um, but it might be something uh, you will enjoy. You could possibly vote on what you want to see me um, see me doing. Cat modeling. <laughs> it wouldn't be cat modeling. <laughs> It would be it would be more related to to, to to trains. I think that's I think that sounds very interesting. It's something that, as I say, as somebody who is not very well uh, or doesn't do a lot anything related to art at all, and have never done anything related to art or been very good at it, I think I'd be very interested to find out a little bit more about um, how that all works and what, how you put everything together and what you have to consider. Because, as I say, it's not it's not something that um, I think until you do it, you understand how complex it can be yeah no it's it's i think i think game dev in general is is the kind of is the kind of role and i think everyone here would have heard it but it's like it's the kind of role that people think like oh you make games it must be the the most fun easy relaxing thing that you just you get to do all the time and it's it's really not it's 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 full stress <laughs> um but it and it's very it's very complex but it's i mean if, if it's your passion it's you know it's enjoyable um, would the models be used for future content? Definitely not. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not even a junior environment artist. It's, it would purely be for fun. Um, but maybe, who knows? Maybe I can even get some of the dev team on, uh, and, and they can give me pointers, or we can, we can do uh, fun modeling competitions. So maybe, maybe that would be in the cards. Yeah, good question from Crazy Killer in the chat. What made you go into CM rather than uh, something more dev related? Because obviously you've, you've come out of a, a more kind of art related uh, or dev related uh, degree. What made you want to go into CM? That's actually a, that's actually a good thing, and it's it's kind of more of a uh, good question. So it's kind of more of a life choice. Um, when I was doing when I was doing art, I've done I've done art, I've done drawing for quite a long time, and it's taken me a while to realize where I want to put my creativity. Um, and for me, it's for me, for me doing arts for my portfolio and constantly having to taking it from a hobby to a job isn't where I wanted to take my art. And for some people that's fine. And for some people that works, um, some people can do the nine to five with their art and then, and then have downtime or even do more art. But for me, I think I was starting to notice that the hobby that I've come to love all this time and the reason I started, I was slowly losing the passion for it and it was starting to become more of a chore. And one thing I realized when, when I started thinking about that for myself was that I started my YouTube channel when I was 15 and, and it, uh, I had an old YouTube channel, but I, I really enjoyed running that. And part of me was thinking, well, I know about game dev and I've heard about community management and maybe the passion for that, I just I just stopped stopped running with it. And, and why, why don't I give it another go? Um, and when I started working at my uh, the previous company, Grads and Games, because it was a small team and it was a, it was a essentially a not-for-profit charity, um, it was the right place to to learn and find that passion again and and really kind of hone in on that being where I want to grow. Um, so art is still something I'm passionate about, still something I love doing. It's just not for me 
in terms of doing it nine to five, forcing myself to do it. Um, I like keeping my creativity a bit more free. Uh, but not not saying community management isn't creative. I, I just meant like three D modeling and like actually doing stuff. Uh, I like keeping that a bit more untethered, really. Yeah, I think that's important. You've got to enjoy what it is that you're doing, and if you're finding you're not getting enjoyment out of it, then um, you should. It, it's it's really difficult to make a career out of it. Um, and uh, it's a little bit deep for a first stream. Uh, we're going <laughs> into this conversation, but uh, it's uh, it's certainly something that's uh, yeah, it's something that particularly when, when you're at the, the stage of your career which you are which is kind of starting things out Alex it's important that you're doing something that you're enjoying and you feel like you're you're able to give your best to so yeah definitely I mean I, th I think like 3d modeling is is something that I, I would love to continue and I'll be I'll be hopefully finding a way to incorporate it into the role in some way um, but uh, but yeah I, I, community management I find is is really fun and I think the satisfaction you get when you can really connect with players and start delivering on what they want to see and start turning their favorite games to something that they can engage with a bit more is that's the dream that's the passion so <laughs> um that's what i'm here for really yeah but being kid you do give me hell uh but I, I i still come back to to i'm like a powered up pac-man i come back the next day um it's no it's, it's it's i i can't think of a better job to be honest um i love all oh, well, I love what what it is that we do, and I think that it's uh, it's really it's a really sort of it's really challenging um, because you're ultimately dealing with people, um, but it's really rewarding at the same time as well. Um, and so the, when you're able to help people or to make people feel good, um, particularly when the world isn't a very nice place right now for most people, um, it's a, it's it's a really positive thing to be able to do. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, like games are games are an escape for so many people um, or even not necessarily an escape, but a way to just kind of not think about everything else going on. So um, helping make that a better experience for everyone is, is yeah, it's, it's it's fulfilling. It's it's great. We've got Sam in the chat as well. Sam, you've missed a belter so far. Uh, we've already restarted the scenario once. That's always fun. <laughs> so. Yeah, but we're on track now, right? We are on track. Uh, just make sure that I don't uh, emergency break again accidentally and then not realise how to get out of it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll swiftly move on. Um, there's a bit of football chat going on in the uh, in the chat as well because I've made my allegiances very clear on the uh, on the football front and some people are enjoying things. Uh, yeah, Sam, I've, I've, I've finally realised how uh, how multitasking is not for me and also uh, how much more respect I have for people who are trying to do this at the same time while engaging in meaningful conversation. Matt Peddleston, I will never take the mick out of you ever again. <laughs> oh, who does Alex support? Um, I None please or all of them i I've, I've really never really had a strong sports affiliation in my life so not the person to come with on sports i'm afraid <laughs> hello <laughs> hello jd who's the new person above you hello i am alex i am the newest community manager of the last few weeks um hello it's pretty it's, it's the first time i'm on stream so it's uh, it's nice to meet you uh yeah you might have seen alex pop up a couple of times on the um on the forums he's been sort of jumping around and chatting to people on there which is always good um and uh doing kind of the what we say in the in the corporate world as onboarding experience so getting peter which is obviously quite relevant for uh for a, a rail simulator but uh we get people and we we bring them into the team and we acclimatize them and make them introduce them to everybody and make them hopefully feel a bit more welcome definitely i mean the dovetail team is incredible uh it, it's it sounds like it's kind of just like the company patting itself on the back but i mean it from a, from the standpoint of someone that's just joined in the last two weeks everyone's really friendly really welcoming and i think it's obvious that dovetail take they take a passion in making sure that their employees feel like they're heard and feel like comfortable in what they do so it's it's a really good place to work um and that's why i'm more excited to kind of just start even more fun projects because well when you feel good you want to do good <laughs> Here we go. We've actually made it to the station this time round, which is wonderful. Might be a little bit behind the time. Oh no, we're actually ahead of time. Somehow.
Oh, you know what? Yep, yeah, this 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 calls for a bell. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much for reminding me, Liam. And I just need to remember to actually then break, which then I forgot to do. As long as it's not emergency breaking, that's uh, no. that's key. <laughs> Liam, you did that deliberately, didn't you? You did that deliberately, just to try and put me off. You know I can't resist my bell. <laughs> uh, Mr. Quicko, uh, what is what is your favourite train, Alex? Uh, I haven't had a chance to play enough trains, to be honest. I've only really played the Bakerloo line a few times. So, I guess that train. <laughs> um, but it's as I, as I, as I play more, um, I'm going to be learning as much as I can. And I think the next route I'm going to be playing is East Coast Way. So... Jiddy, what what is the train on, on, on the East Coast way? What is the the um which one which one are we to, so which sorry, I'm try I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> sorry, I I'm completely I'm trying I'm trying to with every fibre of my being not not make a <laughs> mistake. Uh so you was it East Coast Way you're gonna give it a go? Yeah. So uh East Coast Way is oh my god, my brain's gone completely blank. The uh three seven seven three seven class yeah, class three seven seven, yeah. Uh, give we'll that see one how a much go. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I've got so much time now. I can actually chill for 15 whole seconds. 15 <laughs> whole seconds. And you know what? I'm going to do a gratuitous camera shot to celebrate. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now I just again. need to remember to actually lock the doors again afterwards. Oh, I think definitely on one of me, one of my first experiences doing it was it was on the Bakerloo line, but it was um, I think I was at least 25 minutes late to the first station because I spent I, I sat down in the front seat and uh, put the keys in. We started moving and then it stopped moving. Uh, and I spent I was I was just I got my character up from the seat and I started looking at which buttons I needed to press. So I, I'm definitely coming into this completely fresh. I will need ultimate guidance but maybe this will be a redemption arc maybe in a year's time i'll be driving any train that comes out just without even thinking about it much so so that's the plan so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go from zero to hero <laughs> that's um that's yeah. what i've been saying for the last year and a half alex it's <laughs> got me we've already restarted the scenario once Also, my restream has decided it wants to die as well. So now, uh, there's, uh, in, in other things that are going wrong tonight, I now don't have the stream chat on my screen anymore. So that's fun. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to lead the lead me, Alex, on uh, on what's going on. Uh, they're talking about the uh, passing around a SAS helmet. <laughs> I don't know how to figure out what that means. Um... <laughs> I don't know if this is an inside joke that I have. I don't know about you. I've not heard about the SAS helmet before, but uh, I know that uh, I know that we do tend to have quite a lot of SAS on the streams in the, anyway. So, particularly the four upstreams, which, as uh, I say, we did our our most recent one of on Tuesday. If anybody's interested in checking it out and. That was obviously quite entertaining. Alex, Jamie is a good person to talk to about trains. Oh yes, I know. Jamie is amazing. Um, I, I, I mean, we see him. I see him every day for our stand-up uh, meetings. But yeah, Jamie, Jamie's our go-to trains guy. So I'll be learning as much as I can from him as well. Uh, hopefully, he's our resident enthusiast. And uh, yes, yeah, so he's he's worth his weight in gold. I think he's actually going off to a gala tomorrow. Um, so he is. Uh, he's off. Yeah, I think he's off to a gala tomorrow, which is why he's uh, he's not around tomorrow. And crazy killer, you mentioned steam trains are the best. You can't change your minds. I've seen the videos of them being operated. I'm just wondering how how much harder is it to run the steam trains? Is it, is it something that if if JD's struggling to to drive this and and talk to us in the chat. If if you was if you were on a steam train, JD, do you I, think you'd be? I wouldn't be able to move the thing. Uh, I'd, 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 what I would need to do is I would need to do a lot of practice. I think I would need to be. Uh, I'd need to go in there. I'd need to familiarise myself with everything, um, and uh, and get it all sorted. As I say, I I would. <laughs> 
I uh, I would have done I would have been able to do a little bit more with uh, with this particular room, perhaps not had the issue that I had initially. Uh, but today has been an incredibly busy day, so it's uh, it's one of those ones where I've I wanted to have a bit more time to be able to actually take a look at some stuff. But there we go. If you can juggle a jelly while balancing on a trampoline, you can drive a steam loco. Well, um, actually, I can't do that. <laughs> um, oh no. I tell you what, trampolines are a no-go for me because I've had a I've had a knee injury in the past few years. So even trampolines are even that's a, even that's a dangerous. Zone. Before you bring in the jelly and the juggling knives, either. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're going to crawl into the station. Into Boston. So why is it called the Boston Sprinter? Is the name of the location, or is it more of a fast route? It's a fast route. It's a passenger route. So we've got uh, we've got uh, Lund uh, we've got a couple of other kind of commuter trains, but um, well, we've got a lot of commuter trains. But this one is the one that so we've called Boston Sprint. It's part of the rush hour pack that we released last year, which includes um, London commuter and Nav Navacare Dresden, uh, and they're all kind of high octane uh, passenger routes. Brilliant! It's actually made me think. What is what is everyone's favourite route uh, that's here with us in the in the chat? If if it wasn't for if I wasn't going to be riding East Coast Way, is there any other route that people would want to start on, or they think is 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 enjoyable? There was always some sass involved when discussing uh, dovetail route naming policy. <laughs> The Long Island Railroad. The Long Island's just been um, announced as the next uh, train simulator classic route today. So that might be why they've suggested that one. But Long Island is, yeah, the other kind of... Uh, well, it's, it's the... Uh, one of the, the original line, few. The Harlem Line, we've got the Long Island Railroad, and we've got the... Uh, let me just release the brake. Uh, we've got the Long Island Railroad, we've got... Boston Sprinter, we've got Harlem Line, uh, Peninsula Corridor. I think those are all of the US passenger routes. I've heard a lot of good things about the uh, the Great Western. Recently had a big old update, and that's what we did on the uh, four upstream on uh, on Tuesday. Um, yeah, the, the uh, preservation crew did a, a stellar job in getting a load of new things into it and uh, and updating some some bugs and all that kind of stuff so they've done a really good job with it and i think that's a nice one to do as well if you're relatively new to the game as well um i'm excited i think uh, i remember writing the, the the patch notes for that one i'm going to see if i can take a bit of more of a comedic spin on the patch notes where i can so uh keep an eye out if you if you're interested <laughs> More, all the more adhesive to, uh, <laughs> to keep people stuck to their seats. That's exactly. I mean, that's it. So you got to make them. You got to make them fun where you can. Anything with a gronk. I'm. 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 I'm a little scared to ask what a gronk is. Um, big old. Just, uh... Big old thing. <laughs> Gronk's alive. Let, let me let me suggest because I can't see the chat right now, so I'm assuming that's Moggy that said that. <laughs> yeah. 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 There we go. Okay, we're nice, nice and stay, nice and sedate to the go via. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, bad guy, 80, uh, 89. I'm glad you're, you've had, you've had a good experience with the preservation crew with the Great Western, um, because I mean, obviously, like making making a route as best they can be is, is obviously the goal and what we want to do. So uh, it's 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 good to hear people having. Uh, a lot of good messages for for the changes we've been making. Yeah, and I think there's been quite a um, a nice quick turnaround as well for a lot of the stuff that we've been doing recently as well. Um, if there have been any challenges that have come with uh, with releases recently, they've they've been picked up pretty quickly, and uh, have been um, been so yeah they've been sorted pretty quickly. Has the has the next Rivet Games um, announcement been made yet? It has not. No. Good. Making sure I'm not leaking anything. <laughs> are they are they trying to are they trying to weasel information out of you, Alex? <laughs> I certainly hope not. 
Yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just ple plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. No, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm new here. I'm, yeah, I'm new here. Don't trust anything I say. <laughs> The preservation crew is keeping the game alive between the major releases. Yeah, I mean it's 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 great work. Uh, obviously, being able to, to to touch up the roots and make them basically the best they can be. Um, the correct answer is I know nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I know nothing. Do 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 to be super controversial to just watch the reaction. No, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> no, no. So what is what is everyone everyone in chat at the moment? Do you how often do you play the game? Do you play for a couple hours in the evening? Do you play during the day? When do you usually get your hours into the game when you can and how long do you usually play for? I'm a bit curious. Oh, that's very annoying, isn't it? 8 yards away. Come on. Too much. <laughs> yeah, if it's not been announced officially in a roadmap, then it can't be discussed. Yeah, that, that makes sense. In fact, I'll be, I'll be, I'm, I'm reading through a lot of the roadmaps and and, and patch notes at the moment, so I, sh I have a, I'm getting a better idea of, of, of what can be discussed. So, <laughs> two hours is my max. Any longer makes my bum go to sleep. I definitely get that. I think when I was um, maybe maybe a few years younger than I am now. It was it was the kind of the kind of point in life where you could sit down after a good uh, after university or school and you could just play six hours of games and that's it your body's completely fine somehow you're immune and now I think I've got to the point where I want to break every hour and a half I need a drink I, I need to have a walk around and a stretch so <laughs> I've got to that point um, I'm retired streams and game playing all day. I'm interested. Do, like that must that sounds like the dream. But do, does it ever get does it ever get boring, or do you constantly keep it fresh by swapping between different games? Um, that definitely sounds like the dream, though. You know, when you've got like a school holiday, it's kind of just log in, play games all day. I play mainly during the evening, and normally I play for about an hour. What about what about you, JD? When do you when do you when do you get a chance to to play? Huh, uh, normally it's before work. Um, which it's not normally the uh, the best way to go about things because I'm normally like, oh, actually, I should be uh, I should be working right now, but uh, I'm actually just jumping in and either doing a recording for something or I'm uh, I'm um, uh, yeah, I'm either doing a recording or I'm some doing something that's a bit more like that it's not my actual job, but uh, it's quite nice to be able to. It's quite I find it quite relaxing sometimes to be able to do that kind of thing. Definitely, I think, because I've, I've, I personally don't play many sim games, um, but I, I, I definitely play more relaxing games, and I'm finding more enjoyment with the... I mean, I feel like games, some of the biggest games in the last few years have been much more high-octane, high-action. It's kind of nice just to end a night of work or end a night of, of, of whatever you're doing in the day with just, just kind of playing a game at your own pace, going as fast as you like, you know, if, even if that's relatively slow. It's just taking it at your own pace um so I, I think yeah i think i actually will enjoy just playing some train sim in, in the evening learning the game where i can um so you'll probably see me on the discord it, it, towards the evening asking guys please help <laughs> so something's gone wrong um, so speaking of taking things at my own pace i'm just enjoying the view <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm going to just quickly, while I have uh, just stopped there, I'm just going to quickly re-log back into Restream so that I can actually see the chat because for some reason it's just decided to kick me out without actually, uh, or I'm just going to go into the YouTube chat actually, just so that I've got the chat open and I can actually see what's going on. Um, yeah, so Alex, just in terms of the uh, what's... Uh, what you're doing in, on the day-to-day, -day. What, is, what, is, what does your day-to-day -day look like as a community manager? So day-to-day, uh, -day, let's think. The start of the day is usually opening the Discord, opening the forms, kind of checking for any moderation that needs to, to happen and mostly just seeing what people have been talking about. Um, I think I think the Discord is, is one area where 
I definitely don't put a message in every day, um, but I, I pretty much read through most of everything that gets written there. Um, I think there are days where the people talk a lot. I, I don't like read every single message, but I make sure I understand like, you know, what's the conversation? Is there anything that needs addressing? Can I report it to the team in any way? Is there anyone I can help? Um, that's that's my thought. So that's the kind of, that's the kind of an hour in the morning, catch up with everything that's happened overnight. Um, and then we have, at the moment, in the last, especially in the last few weeks, it's been say hello to everyone in the company and tell them where I'm from and who I am. <laughs> um, I've, heard, I've heard Alex's intro about 400 times. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure at this point you could just tell that you could you could do it for me. But obviously, it was, it's 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 not the point. But um, yeah, I think JD's been sat with me every time. So he, he got to the point where he would just be like, "Here we go, just uh, say your intro." <laughs> um, but it's good to be in con- it's it's good to be in contact with as much of the the, the dev team, the marketing team, the community uh, the community team especially. Um, but anyone really in the company because uh, the the better internal communication we can have, the more the more collaboration we can do on on bigger projects really. Um, so yeah, we usually have some morning meetings, and and then it's kind of just working on current projects. Um, so one of the things I I'm working on at the moment, as I as I mentioned a bit earlier in the stream, but for people that have joined recently, is that I'm currently working on ways that we can change around the forms especially around the suggestions area um because i know a lot of people are hoping to feel a bit more heard um hoping to feel a bit more listened to and uh one thing i will say is that the suggestions do get read they they do get listened in fact it's an important process um that we use to to come up with new routes and and uh and places things to add to the game so if for anyone that feels like they don't feel heard, it's definitely you. You you definitely are being listened to. I think one thing we could do better is is make that clear to players. I would love to make more articles talking about how things happen and what we actually use from the community and and everything about behind the scenes. I think if there are some things that shouldn't be shown, but I think and like the more open you can be with the community, the more you can you can help them understand how things work. Then the better it is for everyone, really, and you can get a bit more of a closer connection. There we go. That's climb up. The I just went for a little wander. I thought I'd go for a little, go for a little walk. Let's close <laughs> the trap door. Let's close the door. If you need to, Alex, if you need to de-stress, go on NTP or TBL and drive a Gronk, 15 miles per hour of pure de-stressing perfection. I have recently written a little article on the forums that talk about all the acronyms, but I haven't memorized those yet. Is is that a is that a freight route? Uh, so you got NTP's Northern Trans Pennine, and what was the other one mentioned? TVL. T's Valley Line. Oh, okay. Yes, they're both they're both freight. Or oh, you can both use freight. You can use freight on both of them. Put in. Um, so, do you read the poison pen letters I send to Matt every day? Um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> uh, is this on the forums? Is this on Discord? Or is this through some other means? I think it's probably uh, probably. The, the DMs that, that, that Matt gets uh, on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah. I would I would think he gets quite a lot of messages. <laughs> Will you be joining on the roadmap stream on Tuesday? Um, I don't believe so. I'm not sure. Was I was I involved in that, JD? No, uh, we have got a little mini uh, interview with you in the roadmap on uh, next week, uh, which we uh, which is not like is is on the actual article. Um, but we're uh, we're not going to be we, you're not going to be on the next one. Uh, I'm sorry to say. Uh, we'll see if we can get you involved in some of the, the other ones coming up. Um, but oh, probably should actually be paying attention again. No, for now, it's just uh, it's just here. Um, so you've got me while you can. <laughs> uh, NTP is more of a passenger route, but it does have freight, whereas more uh, TVL is more freight focused. So is I'm assuming that freight obviously. You don't have to stop to pick up anyone. It's it's is it it's is it generally faster or is it just generally more time between stops, more distance, uh, or is I guess it does it depend on the route, possibly. Sorry, say again. With with freight, is it is it generally a faster faster experience, more slower? Is it a bit? Does it depend on what kind of route you you choose? Um. It would. It's kind of yeah. It depends on what what you're choosing, really. I think you can you can certainly. Uh, there, there's certainly the, the quickest routes that you'll go on will be the um, like the LGB, 
uh, and uh, the high, the really high speed ones uh, like the Javelin possibly um, on southeastern high speeds but you can certainly pick up some pace on some of the, the freight locos as well oh yeah SPAD if you've not if, yeah it's an acronym that you will learn quite quickly Alex sometimes to your cost is SPAD which is signal passed at danger uh, which is where you go past a red light Oh, I've done that plenty of times when I was uh, when I was learning. Yeah, <laughs> okay, make sure to <laughs> learn that. I think JD deserves our respect for stopping in the same country uh, county as the station. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so. Um, and to finish off what I was uh, started talking on before, so apart from. Apart from working on some beginner, uh, not beginner, um, projects I've initially started at the moment and uh, having a lot of meetings, getting to know people and interviewing people, um, it's mostly thinking about ways that we can we can start broadening our connection with the community. Um, like I said, I've said a couple of times now, but I think having having a higher engagement and having a greater interaction with the community is is key. It's one of the things that I think we we as like a dovetail, of course, I think any company would want to strive for but it's one of the things we're trying to do our best now uh to achieve and so i hope everyone that's engaged with the uh, train sim world they they enjoy what we what we can come up with uh, alex gets his intro with me next week i'm sure he'll be fine oh yes <laughs> yeah i've got a 30 minute session with sam so that's gonna uh well I, I got a chance to to meet him briefly today and, and what i can say is you sound like an amazing person but also hilarious oh ben's in the chat as well ben is in the chat Hello, as well ben. oh good no pressure everybody uh we should get ben driving as well ben has done um <laughs> ben has done a uh a stream before but uh he is he's he's done a four up challenge before i believe um so he's been on stream before Good luck with Sam. <laughs> what could go wrong with 30 minutes? <laughs> Definitely asking about the train that he sent flying into the atmosphere. I have to know about that now. <laughs> there we go. Let's get all this sorted, shall we? Let's go back into my... He's in the wrong cab. Are you in the are you in the, the back end of the of the uh, the back side of the cab? I think I might need to change. Uh, I'm just trying to work out. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what I need, what where I need to go from here. But I imagine I need to go back into the front end of the cab and then wander. So I'm gonna take out everything. Take my key out. Turn everything off. Oh no, in fact, I probably shouldn't turn everything off. I'm going to turn it back on, and then we go to the front of the cab. I think if this was a true-to-life simulator, surely at, like there should be every every hundred steps you take, there should be a chance for you to drop your keys. But maybe that wouldn't be as fun game. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't be for me. I drop my keys and lose my keys all the time. <laughs> Max speed, max break. That's that's how I've that's how I've been learning so far. <laughs> that is pretty much pretty much uh, Sam's modus operandi, I think. <laughs> we are going to go through all of our passengers. <laughs> the, the passengers are thinking. So the train stopped, and now the driver's walking through the carriage. <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on? I'm just I'm just doing my own thing. We're enjoying life and we're just having fun on uh, on the train. Can you sit in a passenger seat? So you can you actually uh, is it something you can interact with? There we go. I'm now one of them. <laughs> so you can you can if you want to uh, experience you can go sort of AI driver and uh, go as a passenger if you would like. 
Ben, I dropped my car keys down a drain at a petrol station once. Oh my gosh. Had my whole arm down a drain while lying on my front. Yikes. That is a, that is a fear of mine. Whenever I'm holding my phone and getting onto a train especially, the, that gap when you... That gap when you like obviously mind the gap you when you're stepping onto the train every time I'm like holding my phone as I'm just like texting or just like getting my ticket ready I'm just thinking to myself this is where I drop my phone and it just slips through that gap under the train it's just never getting it back so I, I always grip my phone extra tight I don't know it's just, it's probably just a, an irrational fear of, of dropping something but I just don't want it to happen. I'm on the other end. There we go. For the fans. Bell on at both ends. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right. Uh, I should actually try and work out what it is I need to try and do rather than just pressing all the buttons because I like pressing all the buttons. They're there to be pressed. <laughs> there we go. The horn is, of course, there for everybody to use. You seem like the person to have a lot of irrational fears, Alex. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's mostly just I have a pretty bad fear of heights. Some people make fun of it, but it's it's hard. I don't I don't know what it is. It's like a fear of balance, fear of heights, and spiders. I think that's the one that people can relate to. Um, those are the big two. I'm not a big fan of snakes, being honest. When do you when do you come across snakes though? Like I feel like a fear, like especially if living in the UK, a fear of snakes is is still very a real fear but you won't have to have it realized very often unless you're visiting a zoo uh yeah it's it's more just more just like yeah i think it's that kind of thing talk, just, talk, spiders, don't like talk spiders are a big no really big no <laughs> they're all kinds of nope well actually no i don't mind spiders so much spiders are fine uh spiders are good and useful it's the uh it's their yeah their slithery counterparts that uh i don't like Alex, what is your opinion on nerfing the blowpipe? Um, like a don't, I, don't 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 even try. Don't even try getting Alex with RuneScape references. Sorry. Don't even try. Yeah, uh, there's a, there's going to be a lot of things I don't um I don't get right away. Oh no, that that that, that one's completely understandable. Uh... <laughs> acrophobia and arachnophobia. Is that is that what the fear of heights called? Is it called an acrophobia? So that's, uh, that's pretty fitting. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's what you get acrobats, where you get the word acrobat from, because they're in the air. Sheep terrify me. That okay? That that is truly an irrational fear. You can't get less frightening than a little fluff ball with legs. Alexophobia. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not frightening. I hope. <laughs> Are you, have you decided that the train isn't going to be it, so you're deciding to walk the distance, James? It's... Yes. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I feel like I'm um, I'm stuck because I can't now go past either of my. Uh, so I'd, I have to. I feel like I have to change the points, but I can't find anywhere to change the points so that I can go off in the other direction. So I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing here. If I'm being really honest. <laughs> we need chat. Yeah, go Cat on, chat helps us out. A sheep, a fluff ball. Have you ever seen a ram? I mean, like they've got cool like horns, and they they, they can definitely hurt you. Yeah, so I, I guess don't mess with rams. But generally, sheep you can. I mean, I guess if you don't mess around with them, but she, but sheep are you know they they're cuddly. Uh, you contacted the signal and they told you that you can proceed. So I believe you can. You should be able to go on, JD. Ah, is that all I need? Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> <sighs> Stay calm. What about those fainting goats? Those things are hilarious. Um, I would love more elaboration on fainting goats, please. Is it just that they simply just fall over? Or is it like a noise they make? Put that down as well, I guess. We're back off again, everyone, after a slight delay. 
No, no, he's not Lieutenant Bailey. He's trying his best, all right. He's he's trying to he's trying to intro me to the the stream, and he's trying to keep up with chat. So he's uh he's got a lot of things on his mind. Yeah, it's it's as I say, I'd I'd not quite ever really. Uh, I'm much better talker than I am a multitasker. So I try and be like, I should probably be talking, and then I'm like, oh no, I've just not paid attention to something that's going on at the same time. As you might have seen when I've done four up challenges and stuff, I'm I'm not again. I'm not going to say I'm good, but I'm not too horrific but it's because i can actually concentrate on it while i'm driving uh i am not a very good like um what's the word uh not very good non <laughs> sort of exhibit a here uh non concentrated driver do 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 we are pooling along I believe some passengers on this train, JD, they're asking for refunds of the ticket, but uh, the doors are closed, so we're going to get them yeah, where they want. They are locked in, and they are going to enjoy their ride, whether they whether they like it or not. <laughs> you you decided to go with uh, JD Rail, so yeah. that's what you get. <laughs> All passenger complaints must be written on the back of a fifty-pound note and handed to Marky for safekeeping. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm well on board for that. To be honest with you. Very on board with that. Do people? Do, does anyone in the chat do? Do you use the livery designers, the scenario designers, much? I've been really, really enjoying using the livery designer and just finding ways of uh, of putting some creativity in. I hope to possibly share one of the ones I've been working on when it's at a state that doesn't look too bad. I'm still learning. What about you, JD? Do you, uh, do you find you use them much? Again, creativity, not my strong point. Uh, I very much am a person that uh, will see what other people have taken and then enjoy that rather than i see what other people have done and then enjoy that rather than uh spend all of the time trying to be creative myself and end up with something that looks rubbish i tried to make a jd streams uh sorry jd um quiz night livery got to the Z in quiz and then realized that it looked like a four-year-old had done it and i stopped <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> um yeah, so not really, not really for me. But as I say, I, I'm I'm always in awe of all of the the people, the the creations that we do see on Creators Club. It's one of my fa in fact, you know what? I think it is my favourite thing that we've we've ever released on TSW2, um, just because it allows so many people access to so many things that are going to enhance their experience of of the game, um, and it allows people who have got a real kind of talent for creating and being really uh, interesting with what they're doing to then whether that's scenarios or or liveries um to then get them to everybody else so that then everyone else can enjoy them as well it's, it's great definitely i think uh we got we got michael here saying jd whale is the same as outer space uh so no one can hear you scream on the train we're just going to shut the door and we're going to take you where you need to go yep <laughs> what i'm going to say is if they are on a passenger um if they, they, we have got a lot of passengers on this route the, the the service is quite a slow service. It's uh it doesn't really feel like it's something that should be a passenger passenger train. So they're it's their own fault really. It's their own fault. Is it isn't it the Boston Sprinter? I think we're clocking one, five miles an hour. One of the <laughs> yeah, one of the scenarios. So there's there's a few so with scenarios that we we have a mix of scenarios with with all of the different um, routes that get released. There's normally a kind of a mix of different types of playing the different ways of playing the game that's going to be a little bit different to the usual. Um, so uh, we try and mix things up a little bit. Actually, I, I love the irony in that then the the Boston Sprinter scenario where it's it's not fast. <laughs> yeah, you got to take it steady. Yeah, there is there is a certain irony in that. Um, I'll take I'll take that to Mr. Pedalston. <laughs> there we go. Now we're actually at the speed limit. I don't use livery or scenario designer because my creative skills are rubbish. But hey, you don't need to share it with anyone. It's it's your space, you know. No one's judging. Creativity is not something that can be good or bad. It simply just is. So enjoy it. Spoken as somebody who is obviously very creative and very good at work. <laughs> no, no. The fastest train on this route is the ACS 64, which does 125 miles per hour. Okay, that is that is really fast. Um, you, you're gonna that. you're gonna love the LGV when you do that. How fast does that one go? 
that uh, same speed. Oh, 200 and something kilometers an hour. Uh, might even might even creep up to 300. I can't remember that. I did. Uh, I last time I did it was a while ago. I can't remember exactly. It's 200 and two, the high 200, I think. 320 kilometers uh, kilometers per hour. I think Chad's been saying. Yeah, I know. I know it was sort of around that figure. I've seen Alex run that fast after his cat. <laughs> Cats, plural. Cats, plural. Oh, I have to see if I can find one of them. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb them, but they, uh, they all they really do is sleep, so they'll just they'll just go back to it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw you, uh, Alex. Leo Leo came into one of our meetings earlier. He was he was on the side there. Oh, I, I, oh, I didn't know. Ah. Uh... I'll, next time, next time he's there, I'll, I'll I'll give you a shout. Please look, look, look. <laughs> I think you. I think almost every meeting I've been in the last the the last week I've been here, there's always been some cat on the bed. There's there are a lot of cat. I mean, just in general at Dovetail, there are a lot of cats. Lot of yeah, cats. Oh, almost everyone on the team has a cat. Um, I think Ben's the only person I've met with a dog. Now, um, a, a cute little puppy, but. Uh, yeah, there's a there's even a cat channel. I mean, there's a cat channel on the Discord, but in the actual teams, there's even a cat, a, a cat and pets uh, section as well. That's always my go-to if I need a little bit of cheering up on a on a on a on a bad day. I go to the pets at Dovetail uh, teams chat and uh, and see what see what the latest is on there. Cat cam if needed. That's a good point. I've seen some uh, some streamers. They have a dedicated camera. So they have their face cam and then another dedicated camera to their pet's bed. So usually you just see a uh, a bald up cat or a, or a hamster. I mean, my cat would probably be more interesting than I am. So I'm 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 up for cat cam. <laughs> no, no, we we've had plenty of fun with with this this route already. Trying to figure out where to go, standing outside the train in the cold and not understanding why <laughs> the route isn't moving. It's, uh... yeah, Sam's Sam's got a cat as well, Jeff. How's Jeff? Jeff is a Jeff is a is it a strong cat name? That's 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 a kind of that's a kind of name that suits it like a very it's, it's very it's very catish to me. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to offend anyone called Jeff, of course. <laughs> Do you know what? I might see if because uh, we've got an. I think we're we're trying to get. Cat, cat, cat. Speaking of cats, trying to get cat to do a another let's make a livery stream. I might request that she makes a cat livery. Oh, with like a with like a face at the front with whiskers yeah. and like a stripy tabby pattern, maybe. Yeah, I might see if she can do that. Yeah, don't tell that to the real Jeff in the company. Yeah, <laughs> maybe don't don't show him the vod. Percy the cat. Now that's a good cat name. I like that. Like the cat bus in Totoro, exactly like that. In fact, I know exactly. I know what you're on about, uh, Jess. An official Moggy livery. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the commission. Yeah. I think uh, I think we're onto something here. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's um. Maybe that's something that, we, that cat can do on a on a stream. And maybe if I was uh, doing a modeling stream, we can just model a cat shaped locomotive <laughs> get it really stylized the cat the catmobile <laughs> oh, no. like instead of instead of wheels for the track it's just like loads of little feet <laughs> oh my god that's like nightmare fuel <laughs> yeah maybe maybe not look locomotive oh wow <laughs> oh, oh. we can have some fun <laughs> I, I'm gonna just. I think when you when you come to do these modeling streams, I think I'm just gonna let the community sort of. You, you can cater the communities cater to the communities every whim and just see what comes back. <laughs> no, they're gonna be fun. They're gonna be. They're, it's gonna be some some really good fun we have with them. Ice cream on its whiskers. What is this? What is the moggy ice cream in the freezer? Oh, oh there's a there's a oh, meme here that I don't oh, get. Oh, you will you will soon soon <laughs> soon become uh, acquainted with the uh, the the ruler of the ice creams, uh, <laughs> moggy. Ruler of the ice creams. I love I love hearing the um, like every community has like these fun little nuances and like little things like within them. It's just, I have no like how does something like that start? I'd love to know. 
cat train on peninsula corridor. The rule of ice cream and gronks. It'll be like the car built for Homo. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking it's going to be like uh, if anybody used to watch Robot Wars, Pussycat from Robot Wars, like bright pink with like yellow spots and things like that. I've not seen Robot Wars, but I can already get the idea you're going with some like super stylized, cartoony kind of vibrant cat. Moggy, we eat all your ice cream, Alex. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I was actually looking for ice cream earlier today, though, so we don't have any. So maybe he's already gone in there. Maybe maybe Moggy's already found where I live and taken it. We just have these silly fruit pop things that aren't really ice cream, and they yeah they make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream ice cream has got to be like ice cream rather than ice lollies in my in my humble opinion. That is such a great confession. <laughs> it's just we have these sad fruit pop things, and I'm upset. <laughs> I have, it does it does upset me it does upset me that if i if it's a really nice day i mean it's obviously not been a very nice day here today so i don't have to worry about it too much but when it's a nice day outside all you want is to have like a i mean ideal peak would be a 99 with a flake but yeah of course if if you can't have that then you want something like i don't know like a, a chalk ice or uh a, like if you're the, the, if you're really posh like a magnum or, or like an aldi knockoff of, of a magnum uh but then <laughs> Or we have You're really stupid fruit the pops. Or the alternative, the Aldi knockoff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have ever had the same experience. Um, but uh, I, I recently got a Smarties. Do you? Does anyone remember those Smarty ice creams? Where it's like a small tube. Yes. And yes. And you push, you push it yes. up from the bottom, right? I, I recently had one of those, and it just. All I'll say is that. It's a childhood memory that doesn't have to be ruined. I would say it was, it was medium okay. Oh, that's a shame. But uh, I think I think the thing that was disappointing, I don't know if you vaguely remember or not, but there used to be Smarties in the handle. Like a, like yeah, a, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That was the, they, that was the key selling point of it. They, they removed it. There's just some at the top. There's none in the handle anymore. Oh. What, what's, think, what's the point in them then? Uh, that's, that's exactly it. You want to you want to finish the ice cream. You finish pushing it all the way through the top, and then you get to chug the the little line of <laughs> kind of drop a little line. <laughs> chug the little line of smarties. smarties yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the, uh, my my disappointment was immeasurable when I got to the bottom and there was nothing. Oh, that is really sad. That's a really sad story. And yeah. I'm, I'm sorry that we have to we have to have these kinds of really hard. Like hard-hitting <laughs> stories on on our live streams, but <laughs> the tragic story of no Smarties in the ice cream and your day was ruined. Exactly. Train was so long that I went through two different uh, changes in speed before it actually allowed me to get up in. Uh, in my speed yeah one of the things alex that you might need to become like the the speedometer and the changes of speed um yeah. they only come into effect from when the back end of your train passes the signal rather than the front part of your train so you can be going for a long time thinking oh i've driven past a 10 mile an hour speed limit and i'm not at that t it's not showing that 10 is the limit that i can be on on the speedometer that's because the back of your train hasn't passed that that point right. yet so when you've got longer trains, it can be quite a long time before you're able to hit uh, to hit those kind of higher speeds. There we go. I've just changed mine now. Mine's gone back up, up but I've been in the 30 at the front for a for a long time. I see. I see. That makes that makes sense. Except in London Underground, does that do it from the does that do it from the front instead? Maybe. Uh, probably yes. Yeah, because it's a bit it's a bit more. Um, I guess it's because it's more enclosed and a bit more kind of. It has to, everything has to be a bit tighter, I guess. Yeah. But that's a good call out, Red Leader. Moggy demands an ice cream simulator to be made. I, I, I don't know what the gameplay of ice cream simulator would be other than make an ice cream, eat it, add topping. I mean, maybe there's something there. I, I'd buy it. <laughs> I wonder if we could could we ever do like um this could just be a crazy suggestion that's that's all it'll be but would we ever do like fun uh, April Fool's carts where there's like an ice cream a workable ice cream machine in in Trainsome World 
I mean, I'm going to be evil JD <laughs> here, but not on the roadmap. Not going to happen. But no, <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, we. I think we've done a few. I, I, I have to admit, since I've been here, I don't think we've done anything sort of particularly April Foolsy. Um, but I think we have done in the past. Um, and I can't, I, I'm, someone's going to have to. Someone's been uh, in the company for longer than me. Is probably going to have to be able to kind of flag that. But um, it's it's some, something something like that. I think we've done a couple of bits. Pringles wasn't on the roadmap. <laughs> uh, the Pringles campaign is its own thing. There we go. Uh... Alex, what is the difference between yours and JD's role? So my role is just community manager. Um, JD, as you know, is director of community. So he manages not just our team, but he also helps be the main liaison between a lot of the other internal teams. And we, we all essentially in community, um, at least from my perspective, I report to JD on a lot of what I'm doing. So he knows what I'm up to. Um, and he helps give me directions of what I should be doing each day to make sure I'm not getting lost, to make sure I'm onboarded correctly. Um, and to essentially give me advice because coming to a new community, especially with things like acronyms that I don't quite understand, he's been my go-to at the moment for um, helping me through that. So he's, yeah, he's, he's done a lot for me um, in the last uh, few weeks. So I appreciate the help. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but as I say, that 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 is my job. So as I say, it's it's, it's kind of my uh, my bread and butter, really. But it's nice to nice to obviously bring new blood into the team and um, be able to have a little bit of um, yeah, a little bit of a kind of injection of new people into the team. Obviously, Nat left the team uh, a few months ago now, so I've been kind of taking on a lot of the Train Sim World stuff in particular. Um, I think longer term, I'll. I will be as Alex starts to get more and more comfortable with stuff. I'll, I'll start taking kind of a bit of a step back, um, but I'll still be doing the roadmaps, and you'll see me on streams quite a lot, at least in the in the kind of near to to, to midterm future. So um, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of learning to do, so I can I can be the best the best I can be. Someone suggested that there might be a way we can turn all passengers into cats for the day. I, I can tell you from a game dev perspective that the animations would be in would be interesting. <laughs> just get, just get, do do what do what the cats film did, did and just put like uh, animatronic cat things on like or anthropomorphic <laughs> uh, cat things on on people's faces. That wouldn't be terrifying at all. <laughs> we could we could possibly give people just like like funny hats maybe to wear, um, but who knows. Nat is doing really well in the new role, Baked Bean Kid. Thanks for asking. Uh, she often uh, messages us, and as I say, she's been uh, she's been sort of helping Alex out with a few bits and pieces as well. But yeah, she's doing really well. Um, she is, I believe, actually uh, presenting in the company live stream next week, which the internal live stream that we do every week um, about all the stuff that she's been working on. So that's quite fun and exciting for her, and slightly terrifying at the same time, I think. That would definitely be a big step. Uh, like that's like, I mean, presenting in front of how many people are in those calls? It's easily easily fifty to a hundred. Oh, more than that. More than definitely. that. Definitely. More than that. So, uh, yeah, quite. And it's uh, there's a lot of people going into the office next next uh, next week as well. So um, again, you've got the kind of the in-person side of that as well, which is obviously quite intimidating. So, um, but she'll be fine. She'll do great. I mean, Nat, Nat I, I I had a um, a call with Nat in my second week and she was just telling me a lot about the community and she was really friendly and I can I kind of get the vibe that the discord and the community there's a reason why you, you guys all love her and, and miss her from the community team is because she's friendly she's amazing helpful and, and just brilliant so I, I uh, I've got very very big shoes that I'll do my absolute best to try and fill <laughs> I don't know what shoe size that is but we'll uh... <laughs> let's, let's get the information <laughs> Uh, Port of PD Bunza, massive cat faces on every tunnel. That's it. That's the suggestion. Oh, of course, I'll be feeding this all to the dev team. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. So, what did you get, so Alex? What did you get out of your first live stream with the with the community? Well, we need cats on the <laughs> trains. We need cats as passengers, and we need actual cats in game. So and and functioning ice cream as and well. functioning ice cream carts as well. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to tell the dev team hey, that, all that cool stuff you've been doing. Let's put that on pause for a minute. Let's let's work on this. Let's this work on cats. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, thanks. I handled the disruption really well. <laughs> okay, let's see how I did, shall we? 
If I get a gold, there is no justice in this world. I don't think I will have done, but... I've been taking notes, no worries. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, well done. Well look done. It, t it only took crashing in initially and then and then having to restart the route. But hey, I mean, hey. You, you got it. I mean, who's taking, who's, who's counting? Who's counting? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I think uh, it. One of the, these things, these things obviously are, they take a little while to, to practice and to get right. And as I say, if that's, if, any, if you learn anything by uh, that tonight, then these things do take a little while to, to get to grips with and you will be trying a couple of times particularly on the more complex locos to, to get things going um but yeah this is just a kind of a a very uh a very small indicator of what what boston sprinter is that's the very first scenario that you can go through there are four more and lots of other bits and pieces as well um i've uh, somehow managed to score a gold and i'm not quite sure how um so if i can do it anybody can do it and uh we'll be uh i only had to ask the chat for help three times uh so I think we're going to call it a night there uh, just because uh, I think that I don't think anybody wants to be put through my driving anymore, to be honest with you. Um, thank you very much, Alex, for joining us. You'll be obviously popping up in a few more live streams in the future um, of before you take the reins and do some yourself and have to try and work through the pain and the strife of, uh, of talking at the same time as trying to do it as well. But I'm sure you'll do a lot better than I did. So uh, thanks very much for joining us, Alex. It's been lovely meeting, uh, lovely meeting you, and uh, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, can't wait to, can't wait to get more involved. So if you see me around in the Discord or in the forums, don't be afraid to say hello or just have a chat. I'm, I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be more engaged. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me, guys. Lovely. All right. Thanks very much, everybody. Uh, that's the last Ralph Fan TV stream. Oh no, is it last Ralph? Yes, it is the last Ralph Fan TV stream of this week um the sale the spring spring steam summer sale is still on though uh, and there's lots of things that are going on and on sale so if there's anything on your wish list take a look at it uh boston sprint is 45 percent off as well if you want to pop in and, and give it a go um everything else i think pretty much uh apart from spirit of steam is, is looks like it's on sale so take a look and see if there's anything you you like you fancy it is payday and all that uh it certainly was for us today and i am very thankful for it uh yeah. thanks very much everybody for watching tonight uh and for helping me through all of this stuff uh, and uh, yeah I hope you all have a lovely evening uh, we'll be back next week with Ralph Fan TV see you later